guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, just in case any of you are not aware, this split down Sam's nail she has had for years. Damage from a previous nail salon, no names mentioned. Um, and we just keep on top of it. Um, she always has to have a nail on uh, because the, the free edge is permanently split. So we've always got to have something on this nail. So this is not damage that I have caused. <coughs> okay, so coming in with my nail prep. Then I'm coming in with my ultra bond. The ultra bond. What did we just say? You just said, Lisa, we need to be serious on this video. We did, yeah. It's not going to happen, is it? I'm going to try. I'm going to be trying to be serious. Okay, give that a little waft, wafty, wafty, waft. Um, so I'm using all auras today. I'm going to use some of the um titanium builder gel as well. Um. I got this last week. So gels generally don't last on my nails. Uh, poly gel will, or a gel. Um, but gel polish, um, even the fibre gel, which is super, super strong, they tend to not adhere very well um, to my natural nails. Uh, but I tested out that titanium on one of my nails and I am ridiculously impressed. I honestly thought it would last a few days like, like most gels on my nails do um and i've had to put that in the lamp for me please i've had to file it off this morning to get these on um i popped it on my middle finger it was ridiculously solid so i am super impressed with this and at some point i'm going to do a full set of this on my own nails to really really test Ooh. it out but i'm really happy with it that sounds good because <coughs> i do struggle with everything but acrylic with my um greasy nail beds Focus, please okay right so auras that we're using today are bright orange white glow mocha peach and skin um so we're gonna kind of mash all of those up and um, this is a brand new glitter this is the dragon's breath and oh my goodness look at this how stunning is that? Happy dance, happy dance. I just, I just wish I was doing like really, really long nails because I just want to put so much of this stuff on. Uh, I'm going to use some of the maple leaf glitters as well. Just one or two. Uh, not entirely sure what colours I'm going to be using yet. Uh, we'll figure it out. Right, so I'm going to do a marble. A little marble. So I'm going to just get little bits of each one so i'm going to grab some skin i'm not using my spatula i'm using a dotting tool and i'm just going to grab if it comes out <laughs> god i'm just going to grab a bit pop that on the nail do not worry how it looks it's okay uh wipe your dotting tool i'm going to come in with the next one do these in any order you want this is the mock peach. I'm going to grab a bit of that. Pop that on there. Put the lid on the right way, Lisa. Um, I always like to add a bit of white into my marbles. It just helps break the colours up. Um, and seeing as white the white glow is new, I mean, it's not new to Nelkami, it's new to me. I'm going to throw some of that on there as well. Uh, because we are doing autumn nails, I want some orange in here. So I'm going to pop some in there. A little bit more down here. Right, so now using... Where's my brush? There it is. Using the slip solution. And now I'm going to start patting this into place and working with it like I would an usual normal bead that I've just <laughs> Max scared me and put this down and I'm going to I'm not pulling this all the way down the nail I'm gonna leave a a bit of a gap at this point as well if you're not happy with how your marble is looking let's make sure we're in shot use your dotting tool and we can pull up and marble it like that and then pat it back down. Oh, 
make sure you're happy with how your product is sitting around the cuticle and your side walls okay so I'll pop that in the lamp for me please <clears throat> I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap because we're gonna add some glitter um, but then I'm going to do a little bit more marble along the bottom so while that's in the lamp I'll get a little bit more of that out I'm gonna double up on that I think a little bit more of that love that mock peach colour I know it's so nice it's so autumnal let's get a bit more of that out okay so this is just gonna go on the corner here why isn't my camera focusing today honey please don't need a lot because i still want to maintain that gap in the middle of the nail so just gonna blend those a little bit and take that off the end of the nail <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking the same as me. Oh, it looks a bit dull. It looks a bit boring. Blah. Right, pop that <laughs> in the lamp. Let's zhuzh this up, shall we? With some beautiful... Oh my God, this glitter is hitting me right in the feels. It's so pretty. Um, shall we contrast that with some gold leaves, do you think? I think the gold will pop on top of those. the green would pop in. No, better. I'm not chucking green in. No, it'll stress me out. Maybe a maybe we'll do one, one red and one gold. Right, chuck that out for me, please, Sam. Right, so I'm going to get some of the titanium gel and I'm just going to pop this in the middle here. Careful not to get any um, air bubbles in there. I'm going to dip my dotting tool in and then pick up some glitter and I don't want to completely cover the clear section I want to keep a little bit of the clear section in there then I'm going to get some of the smaller pieces of glitter smaller smaller <laughs> smaller pieces of glitter and then pop some of that up here Like so, right, Sam, pop that in the lamp for me, please. I just want to do a full nail of this. I might add this to my bath. You know the bath I said I was going to have with, what was it, Supernova, I think the glitter was called. Mm -hmm. And I was going to mix it to the banana cuticle oil. I might chuck some of that in as well, because, you know, why not? Why not? <clears throat> well, the that, the cuticle oil will help it adhere to your skin, so as you get out, the glitter will be there. Right, I'm just going to pop a little bit more of this titanium on and I'm going to get one gold leaf about there I think and let's go for a red leaf here do you think maybe I'm looking maybe, at maybe. upside down so it's okay. giving it your the glitter let's do it. Let's bang it in give it a cure lids on products Lisa please <clears throat> yes, yes 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 right so i'm going to cap this whole nail in the titanium gel because it's it's honest it's like glass it's so friggin see-through um so i see a lot of people use this in lots of different ways um some people will use the brush that it comes with some people like to use a separate brush um I, for me honestly it just depends what mood i'm in <laughs> So, but obviously our goal here is to make sure that all of the glitter is encapsulated. So in the butt up to the cuticle, the important thing with this is that you maintain contact. Try not to break that contact. She says break contact. Because that's going to reduce the risk of air bubbles. 
and come back here and grab some more. I definitely need some more over this this section here. I mean, you can just see how bloody crystal clear that is straight away. So I'm just going to float this side to side. Bring this down the nail and it's usually at this point that I then swap to a, a smaller brush just to fill in the gaps. While you're waiting Sam if you can flip your hand over just because no, like that's because it is a self-leveling product and we don't want it dripping into the cuticle so I'm just going to grab a little bit more on my striper brush. Okay flip back over Sam. Now I'm going to use my detailer brush just to make sure that every area is covered. Again, maintaining contact. Try not to, I've got the nail tilted down as well. So if the product is going to slip, the product is going to run down the nail. With this brush as well, it does allow me that if I do spot any um, <coughs> any air bubbles, it allows me to get the air bubbles out with this brush. So making sure that all of those glitter pieces are covered. There's an air bubble there. Let's get that out. Thank you. Now before I pop that in the lamp, I'm going to flip hand upside down again and just pull that product back to the centre of the nail. I can have a little look, keep an eye on it. Just pulls it all back to the centre where we need it. Flip it over, make sure you're happy. If you are, that can go into the lamp for a full cure, please, Sam. Okay, when that comes out of the lamp, I'm going to wipe over with our nail plate cleanser and I'm going to give this a good file and I will be back. Okay, when you are happy with your filing, get rid of any dust. Oh no, that's my cuticle oil. And then we're going to wipe over with nail plate cleanser and you can see already how pretty this nail is going to be. So not only have we got the um, glow in the dark or in there, we've also got the, um, the colour changing one as well. Granted, only a small bit up top and up bottom, uh, but it's just going to add a little extra something to the nail. I sometimes like to do the uh, colour changing on my clients without telling them. Oh, nice surprise. Or even the glow in the dark. I've done that by mistake before. I've used a uh, glow in the dark product not knowing it was a glow in the dark product. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we know all about that. Oh, that was that you? Yeah, frighten the life out of me. <laughs> it was when we did my wedding trial. Look how clear that titanium Ooh. is. It is ridiculous. Look at I don't even know. I don't even think you can pick that up. It's so clear. Providing you get no air bubbles in there. Oh, I've got an air bubble. Can you see that teeny tiny little air bubble? No. I'm going to point it out. Right, if the camera bloody focuses for me. Right there. One bloody air bubble. Right, bang that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. And I'm using the banana cuticle oil on this one. <gasps> banana, my favourite. There you go. I wonder, shall we go and have a look at the glow in the dark again? We can try, let's okay. go. Okay. Right, we are back in the bathroom. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, close the door, close the door, close the door. We've got it. Yay! <laughs> so don't tell your clients about this and they'll get a nice surprise in the middle of the night. Okay, we can go. I definitely think this um, Glam in the Dark Aura is uh, it's gonna be my new favourite product. Focus, please. Oh my God, bloody camera. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below and more importantly make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nailcomy.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.